Hey everyone, Joey here from dayjobhacks.com. Today I am coming at you with advertorials. This is one of the best ways I find to make a lot of money using paid advertisements online. Now for those of you who haven't watched my channel before, I do a lot of paid advertising online. I am an affiliate marketer. I've been doing it since 2002. And one of the best types of landing pages I find are advertorials. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about why they're so damn profitable. And I'm gonna talk about the psychology behind them and how I build my own advertorials. I'm gonna show some examples and why they work, okay? If you're not using advertorials, then this video is for you. You're gonna learn a few steps and a few tricks on why they're so damn effective, okay? So without further ado, let's get into my computer and let's do some examples and show you what I'm talking about here, okay? Okay, if you are an advertiser online, then you've probably seen these before. Um, even if you're just somebody that's not an advertiser and you're browsing the internet, you've likely seen an advertorial before. And basically what they are are ads, but they're disguised as editorials. And they're often found in actual editorial or news websites, okay? So I'm here at Washington Post. I'm scrolling through an article, and as I continue through, you'll see a bunch of ads. They're monetizing the Washington Post using advertisement placements, okay? Now, people who buy advertisements can buy ads um, on this page. They're using AdSense. This is a Google ad, but at the same time, they're also using native ads, and usually this is where you can really find the advertorials being used, okay? So here you can see these are Outbrain ads, so if I was to buy ads, at Outbrain, I could set up ads. And most of the time, the people that are buying these ads are using what are called advertorials. So they're setting up an ad and they're, they're piggybacking or they're borrowing the credibility of the Washington Post because people who generally read the Washington Post probably do not even know that they're actually being advertised to when they see these at the bottom of these posts, okay? Um, some people do, obviously. There's a lot of smart uh, people out there browsing the internet. But for the most part, a lot of these ads are very well disguised as you know native content so basically what i'm going to do is show you an example so the uh there was one here um the gut cleanse one okay so if you click on it you can see that the advertorial here it says advertorial right at the top here um and you can see there's a very uh good headline so it's, it looks like a news article and as you scroll down you're gonna find that they're going to be advertising something which is right here click here to watch the presentation and once you click on that it's gonna take you to a video sales letter and they're gonna try and sell you something okay so they piggybacked off the Washington Post and they're trying to get you to you know watch this video because in that video they're gonna sell you something uh, same applies to the skincare one uh, right here if you click on it, you're going to be brought to this one, another advertorial. Again, Beverly Hills MD is using this, and they're, again, making it look like uh, editorial content, and at the same time, they are pitching their product with another video, so they're using a video sales letter again here. So the reason why these work so well is because they are using the, the bigger platform as their credibility. People see that, they see the ad, they come to these pages and they think it's still content that they can read. And the reason why they also work so well is because you are actually providing people with content so they don't feel like they're actually being advertised to right away. Most people are turned off by ads so they don't really uh, respond as well. So you're kind of interrupting people while they're reading their articles here. So you need to get something that engages them and to do that, you give them actual content. I want to show another update here. This is from Boston.com. These are different ads. These are Rev Content, another native ad platform that you can buy ads from. A lot of ads at the bottom of their posts here. And you can see here, this one actually, uh, I liked a lot, this one about the dog barking because it really this type of strategy works in any niche. A lot of people think you need to, you know, it only works in diet or skincare or muscle, you know, muscle over here. There's one there. Um, but it really works for anything. Um, this one, the best way to stop a barking dog, it's genius, okay? So it's got a nice uh, 
the headline. It makes you want to click it. It's got a picture that's, you know, really high uh, click-through rate, I'm sure. It looks like this mean dog. People just want to see what's going on, okay? So then they click on it, and then it brings you to this headline. It's got a, a landing page here. They're trying to collect a push subscriber, but at the same time, again, we have the advertorial at the top. And the reason why they all say advertorial at the top is because that is actually a requirement not only on the ad platforms that you have to tell people that you're you're actually advertising to them but at the same time the FTC also has requirements for people running advertorial so make sure you follow their rules um, so you don't get in too much trouble because uh, this is um, one of those ad strategies that works really really well but it's also somewhat a little bit deceptive in terms of how aggressive you get with your headlines and your news stories because um, really the editorial sites themselves like uh, Washington Times or CNN, they, they probably don't really like these, to be honest, because you're taking away from their own news credibility, okay? So you have to be careful here. But at the same time, I really thought this was interesting because they're selling a, uh, a you know, an e-com offer and it's to stop barking. And what I also found interesting is when I went to AOL, I saw the exact same ad, but it was from uh, Taboola. So this person who is selling this is actually on a couple of ad platforms running the same advertorial um, again through Taboola this time you know so th it must be working it's working well and I guess it just proves the fact that it doesn't matter what niche you're in the strategy and the psychology behind these advertorials is working because people actually believe it and they share it and it's more likelihood that your content and your ads will actually be shared if you're giving good content okay so it kind of fits in line with the listicle strategy i talked about in my previous video about listicles you can see that above if you uh, click on the link but uh, basically this is a great strategy and it also works for advertising on facebook and google and other places as well okay um, in fact if you write a really clever and funny type of advertorial it's likely it's going to be shared through facebook Book if you if you make it funny or you make it somewhat appealing and actually real information you're giving value to people you can actually sell things through your advertorial and and use that credibility and also get people who don't um, see it as a complete and utter advertisement okay so it's actually a really good strategy if you're not doing it now as an advertiser online it's time you actually try it okay so now how would you actually build an advertorial I actually use WordPress a lot to build my pages so it's very easy to build a advertorial I use again optimize press 3 I say this a lot in my videos but I really do use it a lot and for for an, uh, an advertorial really if I was to say want to promote something like a product that is going to help people improve their blood pressure then I could come here and create an article about ways that people could improve their blood pressure and at the same time be promoting a clickbank offer or a uh, supplement that helps people or you know even an e-com offer like uh, a way to check your blood pressure so a, a blood pressure monitor okay so if, if I was to do that um, this actually goes in line with my previous video on Bing ads case study if you're not watching that uh, case study then I encourage you to subscribe to my channel like the channel and you'll actually get access to that case study uh, just subscribe and then find my video about Bing ads it's, it'll actually pop up here as well now coming in here create new page what I will generally do is find a page that I can turn into an advertorial it's not too hard there's tons of templates here and what I'm looking to do is look uh, look like a news article so I need a good striking headline this one here looks pretty good I can change the color scheme as well but this one has a big headline at the top and what you want is a big headline and an image so let's just use this template and, and just kind of show you a quick example of how I would quickly set this up and some of the key components of an advertorial. So first of all, let me say that writing an advertorial does require some copywriting skills. If you don't have skills in copywriting, you should probably go online and take some training or watch some YouTube videos about copywriting. I'm not gonna explain a lot about copywriting here, but also another way to find ideas is to do what I did earlier, go search on those platforms and see if you can find stuff or you can use an actual tool. If you're, if you're, if I'm focused on blood pressure and I want examples of blood pressure advertorials, I can use a tool like Adplexity. I use this tool a lot as well. And I can come in here and I can type something like blood pressure and it'll show me certain ads that are running for blood pressure. So here are some pages that likely contain some blood pressure um, information. So I could use these 
and, and kind of look and see what their landing page headlines look like. So let's just also check on the ad info here. And here is a great one that I found. Why doctors no longer prescribe blood pressure meds, okay? So that is a kind of headline that kind of gets people to click on it. Now, it might be a little deceptive, so you have to be careful again with ad platforms and where you're advertising and what your, you know, even your own ethics, okay? But here are some headlines I can kind of potentially find. So let's click on this and let's just have a look at what the landing page headline looks like. All right, so as you can see here, this is a fairly aggressive type of page. I probably wouldn't run something like this myself. However, as you can see, an 89 year old reveals the secret of her longevity and excellent health and it's gonna go on to explain blood pressure, okay? I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna kind of go back to my original plan and just kind of come up with a quick page title here just so I can show you an example of what is going on here. So I'm just gonna let uh, Optimize Press load up here and I'm gonna go with the angle of natural solutions to blood pressure. So I'm gonna say something that is kind of eye-catching, but at the same time looks like a news type of uh, headline. So that's the key here, is to try and make your content remain in that same type of editorial style. So it, it needs to seem like they're reading a news article. So it would be something like, doctors amazed by new natural remedies to improve blood pressure okay so something like this along those lines um, so then I can do an article about ways to naturally improve your blood pressure okay and then at the same time have a link out to a, a product which I can find pretty much anywhere in any CPA affiliate network or Clickbank or anywhere else and I would have a link out somewhere so I can I can put like as advertised on these places because if I'm actually advertising on these places then it actually is as advertised um, and what I want to do is I want to put a bigger image here for an advertorial people are you know looking for something striking so this image and setup is not good for an advertorial so I need to remove that section and what I want to do is I want to put a big graphic here that's going to catch their attention at the same time I should put something here that looks editorial style so it would be like health insider or something you know what I mean like something that is more newsworthy at the same time i'm going to have to put in the fact that it is an advertorial so up here i'm going to have to type in over on the other side uh advertorial i won't do that right now or i can put it right here somewhere advertorial just to kind of show you an example and then doctors amazed by new natural remedies to improve blood pressure okay um, at the same time, there are ads, uh, there are products that you can promote that actually have all of the information for you, okay? Uh, and they have the references. So if you want to reference your actual res uh, stuff, you can put it down at the bottom and you're going to have your disclaimer down here as well. As you can see from all of these other um, advertorials, usually there is a disclaimer at the bottom. Um, so we can just go down here and look, this is an advertisement, not an actual news article or blog. That is on many of these advertisements. So make sure you, if you're using, especially health products, have some kind of disclaimer as well down here. Okay. That's important as well as the advertorial up at the top. But again, let's go through and, and talk about a couple of the sales parts of this piece. Okay. So again, I'm going to add an image here. So I'm going to just do that quickly here. I'm just going to show an example. So I'm not going to go find one. Let's just pick any picture here to insert that. And then I'm going to make it wider. Okay. So let's just say that's the picture. It's going to be something obviously um, a little more related to blood pressure, but for now I don't want to go find a picture. So I'll leave that there. And then here's where we get into the editorial. Sometimes you'll put the author info or whatever else, like you, you're, they're going to make it look like it is a news article. Okay. So again, with this one here, they had, you know, March 8th, they have the date. They sometimes put the author's name just to make it look like, again, it's been written by an editorial writer. They have the date here, some share buttons, and then they get right into the story. Okay. And usually this story is written in a way that it is, again, a news story. Go read some news articles about blood pressure or whatever niche you're in and read about it. Okay. Now, as you continue to carry on through adding your content, you're going to start having more links. I would have more links. Actually, this person doesn't have as many links. But again, you have links to your affiliate products and then you're going to start with the actual sales pitch. So you're going to start usually with a bit of content. Now, there's no real percentage of content that works better than others. Um, but for people out there that like percentages and they like to know exactly how much they should put, I would say roughly, uh, you know, 
80% real content and 20% sales pitch. So the sales pitch starts right about here and now they're really aggressively starting to hammer this Bark Buddy, um, so Bark's Buddy or whatever, and they're actually get, getting the call to action, more links out, and that's how it works, okay? So all of this is getting them after you've given them the actual content. So um, I'm not gonna do that in this video. Again, you just can just understand how to use Optimize Press. That's how I use it. I would save it, and away we go. We have everything set up. Now we're ready to start buying the ads. Now, if you wanna know how to get your ads up and how to set up really highly engaging ads and how to uh, make money as an affiliate using native ads, then check out our case studies inside powerhouseaffiliate.com. Go to powerhouseaffiliate.com and actually sign up for the premium membership and you'll actually see inside once you get in there, we have case studies on a bunch of different traffic sources, okay? And we have uh, push ads, we have native ads, we have Bing, we have a whole bunch of other ones down here, but we also have training courses in here and we have one that's specifically on um, setting up native ads and doing exactly what I'm showing you, but we have templates and all of that other stuff. So if you want to join the Powerhouse Affiliate Premium, do so. Um, if you want to watch more videos like I'm doing today about you know how to run profitably on uh, paid advertising, then just subscribe to YouTube, my YouTube channel, and we'll see you in the next videos. Thanks for watching today. Uh, hope you enjoy.